That's right, it comes out, that's soon approaching. That comes out the 11th of May. Cause everybody's trying to be famous. Yeah, this feels like my first record because this has always been the music that I wanted to put out. Um, to no one's fault, we had the biggest record in the world at See You Again, and I had to kind of figure out who I was musically in the public eye. Um, usually that's done in privacy. Um, you can, but so I was, that's why none of my songs when they first came out um, with all this music, they, none of them sound similar. You got to give it up to me. Now is the chance to make everything together. Um, there seems to be this um, theme of melancholic, not depressing lyrics, but you know, somber-ish lyrics mixed with dancey beats from anything that isn't aerobic 80s music. When 80s music was um, at its peak of R&B. In like 1988 through 1990, that's kind of what I'm nodding to when I produced all these records. I wanted to make sure they sounded kind of like that. I know that dress is dress is What you do is I, I love combining genres together. So, um, and you'll hear it. The first track of the album has um, like almost like a rock guitar plus R&B and you put that together and it creates something interesting and I've, my whole goal is to um, trick people into liking jazz at the end of the day. I'm like the sneaky teacher. What you thinking? You think that you could be better off with somebody new? That was the trickiest part of making this album sound consistent and at the same time making it sound, everything sound much different. Um, Change is a way different record than done for me with um, Kehlani, to, like, couldn't be more of opposite artists on each track. Um, but there's that element of um, nice kind of jazzy chords in both of them and I think that's what ties them both together. But my favorite thing about collaborating with people is that I can learn from their artistry and they can learn something from my artistry and we can both, it's a give and take, we can both um, you know, um, take and give things from each other and um, I think that's the best part about collaboration. Um, I'd love to collaborate with anybody. Um, Celine Dion. <laughs> I'd love my music to be as cultural as possible because it's just, if one part of the world is listening to a song and another part of the world isn't completely into it yet, maybe that part of the world that's very passionate about it, perhaps Spain, will influence other places. And uh, so I try and make all of my records as universal as possible, like We Don't Talk Anymore with the Spanish sounding guitar. We don't talk anymore, we don't talk anymore. We don't talk yeah, I'd always love to. Um, I, don't, I definitely don't spend enough time in Spain, and I love my fans in Spain, and they're very, very passionate. And from the times that I've been there, they've been um, visually passionate by jumping on cars and etc. They, they, they go in. It's very fun there. Yeah, and they're doing it all for the love of jazz. I would like to. Th I would like to think. I just want to be the pop singer that promotes jazz as much as possible in a subtle way. Yes,